Good evening. This is the bid review subcommittee at the ROM Center, Brockton High School. The date is July 19th, 2022. The meeting was supposed to start at 5.30. We had a little bit of technical difficulty. It is 5.40 exactly. Just gonna do a roll call for quorum. Judy Sullivan? Yeah. Kathy Ellis? Here. Tony Rodriguez? Here. And Tim Sullivan, the chair, is oh. here as well. We have a quorum. <clears throat> Tonight we have one bid in front of us for fiscal year, fiscal year 2022 combined general use office classroom space. <coughs> and exterior grounds for Brockton Public Schools. The official bid number is 2280-0037. The usage would be for administrative offices in various schools. And as I said before, today is Tuesday, July 18, 2022. We started at 530. We had a little difficulty. We started at 540. The location is Brockton High School, George M. Rom in the Little Theater. I'm going to turn this over to our project manager, Mr. Carl Walker. Good afternoon, city yeah. committee. Bid for you is bid Carl. number. Green light. On your thing. On the microphone. There you go. Good afternoon, bid review committee. The bid before you is bid number 2280-0037, and it's the lease for 365 Westgate Drive. The space consists of 13,000 square feet. Additionally, it has around 10 offices, 10 classrooms, and three bathrooms. It's approximately 13,000 feet, and the school plans to utilize it for classrooms, uh, a school, and various um, administrative offices. I just wanted to read out year one, the bid is $50,850. Annually, it'll be $203,000. $203,400, year two to be determined, year three to be determined. Total lease space of 13,560 square feet. Cost basis is $15 per square foot. Triple net prorated insurance, water and taxes. Everybody has got the bid in front of them. Is there any questions on this bid? As it, just one more thing, there's only one bid. Carl, just one person. Correct, there was only one bid for this. There's not that many spaces that can offer that much space okay. as a lease. There's just the one bid in front of us? Correct. And it's the only bid. Kathy Ellis. Um, real quick, Carl, will you just, oh, for the benefit of everybody else watching, and sure. because it was a question I asked, would you explain basically what the purpose of the space is gonna be for? The purpose of the space is we're relocating one of our schools that are being taken down to do complete renovations for the year. So we're going to move some of the students to this new lease building, hopefully. And we're going to use it for administrative office spaces for other people who have been displaced and there's no place to go for September. And just to confirm, because these were two things that we talked about previously, A, there's not going to be a problem with the busing because of the Correct. way the parking lot's set up. There's plenty of parking, and, um, and there's only um, access on the back side of the building when the students are coming in. There is not access coming from other parts of the building. Correct. There is no access from the first floor to the second floor. The bus, there's plenty of room for the bus to do a complete turnaround. Uh, and there's four entrances or egresses to the second floor. Thank you. And just wanted to add one more thing. The, the address of the property is 365 Westgate Drive in Brockton, which is at the Westgate Mall. <coughs> we are leasing the entire second floor. Correct, just the second floor. The stores are gonna stay on the bottom. There's a couple of retail stores on the bottom. I know mean, one is a gold, they sell gold, but something. One's an accountant office, one's a music, a music store. Um, I can't recall what the other two are. Yes, Judy. 
Judy. Okay, so we're only um, going to occupy the second floor. So um, the first floor has offices. The first floor, there's six, I believe, six storefronts. Okay, so they can't get to the second floor, the first floor people there's, you just said, there just is, to clarify. Correct. Okay. There's no access from the first floor to the second floor. Okay, and then does it have handicap access to the second floor? The, the second floor is completely accessible from wheelchairs, absolutely. Okay. What about fire alarms? Oh, it's all fire alarms, it's all wired. Every, it's completely been renovated by another institute that was there. Thank you, Kyle. No problem. Any other questions? Yes. Kathy Ellis? Just to clarify, how much was this per space, per, squ per square foot? It's $15 per square foot per year, which is pretty reasonable for yeah. at least space, especially near the mall. Okay, thank you. And not to mention the uh, bat bus stops right at the front door? Correct. As well as the school buses. Mr. Rodriguez? I'm just curious, um, shouldn't this have gone before the uh, facilities subcommittee before this came to our bid? I don't recall if this even went forward. No, this is a regular bid. It goes right to the bid, bid subcommittee. Shouldn't it have gone to facilities first before it came to bid? Never has before. Shouldn't that be done, though? I mean, th the reason why I'm asking is, is that I, I'm just now receiving this information. Right. And then we had a discussion about this. You know, I can't be told on Thursday afternoon that we have a bid on Tuesday and then receive this information the day of the meeting. So I don't have ample time to review this information properly to ask questions. And it's my understanding that when a subcommittee is called, it's the chair of the subcommittee that has to reach out to every member on the subcommittee and give everybody suitable time to get this information so we can review it. This isn't something that we're just going to come here and rubber stamp. That is not true, Tony. So the, I, I, the chair I'll make, does not I'll make, make a motion to table this subcommittee to get ample time that I, so I can review this information so we can vote on this. And Tony, just so you know, they, it was sent electronically. Everybody had a copy of this bid. Yes, I received that yesterday. You didn't so get a I, chance to look at it? Nope, I didn't. Is the only bid? Yes, today? this is the only bid, for, correct, for this okay, kind of I space. Okay, I make a right? motion to approve the general office space, classroom space. I just made a motion to table this meeting so I could have ample time to review this information so you can't motion on top of my motion until we take a vote on my motion. Okay. Your motion that's hasn't fine. been seconded, that's how, that's how. It has to be seconded first, and it wasn't. That's why I put the motion, so I'm waiting for somebody to second it. Nobody has seconded it. I will second that. I will second it, Tim, because Tony's actually, I looked at it today, but the first chance I had to look at it was today. I mean, and it was at my lunch break, and I only had like 15, 20 minutes to scan over it, and that's honestly why I had questions for Carl before we got here. So I, I understand what you're saying. Like, I think this is, I think this is a good plan. I'm not saying I don't, but I do think it's fair that everybody has a chance to be able to review all the documents so that we can make a meaningful decision and have a meaningful discussion about actually what's, what's best. So I, I will second Tony's motion. Um, that's it. All right, a motion is on the floor and properly seconded. Just by a show of hands, all in favor? Opposed? The motion's dead even. This is the first time it's ever happened. May I speak? So this meeting gets tabled to another date. No, it doesn't. It doesn't mean that. Okay. Kyle, what were you saying? May I speak? Sure. Uh, this, this is a timely matter because we really need to move forward with renovating the space accordingly. Uh, so we really wanted to start renovating the building by starting August 1st. Uh, so we'd have plenty, plenty of ample time to get all the rooms painted for the opening of the new schools that are entering the building in September. That is why I sort of uh, mentioned that this is a um, highly important meeting to attend today. 
Tim, I have a question. Judy? I have a comment. Um, the mayor and the superintendent already brought this up, that we were looking at this building, and that anybody that had questions could have asked them, that was a month ago, that they brought it up. Um, this space is needed, and the, the paperwork was sent by Carl yesterday morning, early. So I don't see why people couldn't review it. They had two days to review it, and I don't see any timely thing that it should be postponed. And it seems like every bid we have now is postponed or not voted on. Not good. Thank you. Judy, you, if you have a motion, you put it on the floor as well. I make a motion to accept the bid for the lease combined general use space, classroom space, exterior grounds of for Brockton Public School, bid number 2280-0037. Total lease space is 13,560 feet. The cost basis is 15 feet, two, two to the year, triple net. Um, quarterly, it's $50,850. Annually, it's $203,400. Second that motion. A motion has been made and properly seconded by a show of hands, all in favor? You have to discuss it before you take a vote, Tim. Is there any the, discussion? The issue, the, the issue is here that this committee hasn't had ample time, just like they need ample time to go into this building to renovate it so it can get done up for September for the students. I this committee needs ample to time me. so we can review that information. I disagree. I'm not reviewing the inf 68 documents in one day. That doesn't happen. This is the second meeting that this has happened, and it's on you as the chairman of this committee to notify this board and get ample time and give every member the opportunity to review this information um, before it moves forward. You can, and wrong, you've been on the school committee you're for wrong. 10 plus years and I don't think it's been done properly. So I think you need to check yourself and conduct it the way that I you're supposed Saturday to be conducted. I checked Saturday how it's uh, supposed to be done. Also, this Jim has checked with MASC and this is the proper way a subcommittee That's our should, governing body. should be right. Tony. This is the governing body right no, here. No, the MSAC is the governing body. They're doing us. it wrong. Is no, in I'm charge not. of us. So Tim has checked with them, and the, the bid review meetings are being done properly, and you can check with Jim Hardy from MASC. Thank you. The Wait. statement was made that Mike Bandis did it wrong for the last 10 years, and that statement is false. Mike Bandis did it right for the last 10 years. I was told that by Jim Hardy Saturday. Kathy. I think we're getting off topic here, and the point is, at this point right now, and I think we can make this super easy because I think with our vice chairman in the room, we can make a decision to do something virtual if we have to, but we have to table this so that we give everyone a chance to look at the documents, all of the documents. And that's the only ask. It's not saying that this are good or bad decision. And just to point out, Judy, you referenced that was a different that was a different piece of property because I did actually ask Carl about that. So it's not the same piece of property, but it was in the same area. So Kathy, just so you know, the motion was made and seconded to be tabled, but it didn't pass. But neither did the other one. Correct. So we're at a standstill. We, need, we are at a standstill. It's not tabled. Can I, can, can I speak? There's a big difference. It cannot be tabled. I, I would like to address Judy's issue with the mayor did go to this building, and they vetted this building completely. And the superintendent. Uh, they, the building behind it was for sale originally. That was the building. But... They did go to this building a month ago, and they walked through the building, the superintendent, the mayor, and a, a lot of other people. This has been on the, uh, this has been a high priority for everybody in the school department to get move this forward. And just to let you know, this packet here is really just, there's only six pages of pertinent information. The rest is just a, a lease, a potential lease agreement with 34 pages, and the, the initial bid, which is, really another 34 pages, this is only two pages that are really important, which is the amount of money it cost, and the last four pages is just what it looks like. The others are just documents that are not even ready to be looked at. They're just examples of what the lease will look like. I know, but at the same time, just, th and, and I understand what you're saying, but to your point, if the mayor and the superintendent looked at this a month ago, and this is a high priority, why are we just now 
looking at this to have it like why is this now just in front of us I, I don't I think we're all saying the same thing but what's happening is we're in the 11th hour and the pressure is on this room to make a quick decision and that's not the right way to make any decision and so all Tony's asking for is for more time to review the documents to make sure we understand what's really happening with this building in this space and I don't think that that's unfair that's all thank you Kathy but it still was not tabled the motion didn't carry, and neither did Judy's motion. So we're at a stalemate, and we just need a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. And a second. A second. A motion has been made and properly second. This meeting is adjourned. All in favor? Unanimous.